What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, if if you've been following along with any of these Martian uh, anomalies or anything like that, even going way back in the day, we had uh, Richard Hoagland as well as J.P. Skipper uh, all had found in these photos uh, anything to do with forest, uh, lakes, forest around lakes, uh, vegetation, different bushes, different all kinds of different bushes, all kinds of crazy stuff in there. Well, my buddy Thomas from Mars Moon Space Channel, and I'll give you the link to his video because he does a great job on this. Uh, he goes over on uh, Google Earth. Now, some people laugh as well as Google Earth. How can you possibly have Google uh, Google Mars? Well, there's a drop down box if you were on there. It's like at the top of the page, and if you drop it down, there's a drop down box. It'll say Moon, Mars, as well as Earth, right? So anyway, he does this, thing. you see right here, forest and roads on Google Mars. Now, you'll see the coordinates right down here in the lower right. If you don't see it, you're going to see it in mine because I do a screen grab of this particular area. The whole photo actually is pretty cool, and he goes over quite a few of those, so that intrigues me to begin with. But what intrigues me more is this upper left corner because it seems like you can see the better angle of the trees, you know what I'm saying? And you can see a little bit of a shadowing, but it appears to be a little bit more to it. Let's get into it. So let's jump out of that. And you guys will get the link to this video. You can check it out. It's a really good video, and I think you'll like it. Um, so let's jump into uh, right here. Now, this alone, I mean, when you look at these here, they look like like very large trees, like the very tops. Now, I do a little bit of enhancement on both this area, but this is the one I was really concerned about. Now, when I look at this, I see trees sticking out. I see trees sticking up right here. You can see that right here going up coming back down but look right here right there's a shadow to it and this one and you can see these things are they're actually sticking up now NASA has said in the past that when you see anything like this here let's say this this uh, spot this particular spot what do they do they say oh it's some kind of gas ventilation it could be methane could be anything and it just kind of you know blows off onto the surface I'm not buying it uh, when you see now I'm not saying it can't happen of course it can right I'm just saying that when I look at this, that's not what I see. These look like actual trees sticking up in the air. And they do actually have a shadow, and you can see them right here. It's casting this, these, both of these trees alone. I'm going to call them trees because that's what they look like to me, right? Um, now, there could be something else. I don't know. I'm seeing, it looks like the sun appears to be coming from this direction, coming down, and you can see the shadow casted by these two of these. That's showing that these are sticking up. They have height to them, right? All right. What intrigued me about this whole thing, and I'm going to back up a little bit and maybe even clear this up for you guys. Check this out. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's actually little lines to this. And they appear to be around these so-called trees. Now, you're not going to see them very good this way, but let me enhance it a little bit. And you'll start to see what look like these... Uh, these things, these marks around them, some of them are like almost circles completely around these said trees. Now, I'm not sure what these are, but they actually look like could be roads, could be something. Check this out going down here. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into this a little bit more. Now, from a distance, I can look at this here. Okay. Bring it way in. What are we seeing here, guys? Look at this. It almost looks like right here, very faintly, you can see this one going like this, comes down, appears to be doing this. There's something else going on the other side of this. I'm not sure what to make of that. But you see the line, there's another line coming over here. But what you can see very, very faintly, if you guys are watching this on this, on your uh, HD phones or uh, computers, whatever it may be, you can see this thing looks like it's sticking straight out of the ground, and it almost looks like it has a base to it, meaning like a, uh, like a foundation. Like if you had the Statue of Liberty, you'd have this base to it, right? So I'm wondering if that's similar to what we're seeing here. And you can see like the, these other things here in a row. And it looks like almost like this road or whatever this may be. Or these are just simple roads going around this. Because you can see this, how this one here circles around, goes over here. Are we seeing roads here? Are these bases to these things sticking out? I'm not sure what to make of that, guys. To me, that's to me that's just wild, man. Now, I'm going to brighten this up a little bit. Okay. And we're going to back out just so we can check this out a little bit more. Because I also did over this area. Now, this is the original. And you can see how this like a lot of this is really blotched out. When you brighten it up a little bit, these black spots, I'm just going to call them spots for argument's sake at the moment, they don't seem as big. They still are, but you're brightening up a lot. Now, this over here, you can check this out. It almost looks like some kind of tube 
uh, my eyes, that's what it looks like to me. You can see it like right here. It seems to be thin right here, and then all of a sudden it's kind of like blurry and kind of crappy there. But what do you guys make of this? I'm looking at this here, and I'm just going, these look like trees and forests. Now, this was supposedly, and I'm, I could be wrong, this is next to one of the poles. It may be around the South Pole. You can just pause the video any anywhere you want to, and there it is. Check it out. I did it myself. And these things are, in fact, there. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, what it is, they appear to me, these are trees. There's just no doubt about it. Um, even right here, I can go to any one of these. Check this out. Even these right here. This one. This right here. This one. They all seem to have, like, a little bit of, like, a gray area, like a shadow. And every one of them seems to do that. At least pretty darn closer. Look at it. another one right here. Got a little bit of a shadow right behind it. Now, if these aren't trees, I'd love to know what they are. Maybe you guys can tell me what you think it is. I'm not sure. To me, that's just cool. Now, let me go ahead and just... Eh, we'll just do a quick shopping. We don't have to do anything major here. It's a little more grainy, but it tries to shop in a little bit. What do you guys think this stuff is? What do you think we're seeing here? Let's go down here a little bit. Now, some of these things may actually be like like uh, uh, like hills or mountains, small mountains sticking out of the snow too, right? So that could be a very good possibility. Um, I mean, it's no different here when you go to Antarctic and, you know, the frozen tundras and stuff like that on Earth, right? You can still, still see any kind of like hills and rocky outcrops sticking through the snow. So that wouldn't surprise me. Like I said, I'm not going to make this one too long. All right, guys, i got another one coming up as well. It's um, it's also about uh, uh, Mars and what looks like a dome city. That one there is going to be coming up as well as another photo uh, of the moon. And it's a, about one I've already done but found some new information about it. Um, and I think you guys are going to like that one too. Anyway, guys, stay tuned. As always, share the video. Uh, you know, rate the video. Give me a thumbs up. And most importantly, give me your comments down below. Anyway, guys, with that, I'm going to let you go. You guys have yourself a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.